So Nelly, when you're ready, when your students are ready, just let me know and we start. Okay, so I'm ready. Okay, uh, Shadow of the Fume was a documentary. Uh, the film uh, shows the traditions they had in Italy. Uh, the jury uh, thought the film was informative and interesting. The strong point of the film was definitely the heritage show. Uh, what we most liked about the film was a specific scene in the beginning of the film where there was a fire in front of the church. It was really well shot. Uh, uh, the film was really informative. That was the strong point for me and for the rest of the jury. Uh, the key moment um, was when the people gathered around the fire at the middle of the film. There wasn't really a big change in the characters throughout the movie. And there wasn't any suspense, but it was on purpose because the film was informative mostly. Uh, for the acting, the clear logic was a five. It was well made. It was a very pleasant movie. It's best. So we gave it to Sorry, Marissa, can you close your microphone? Uh, we didn't really have a favorite actor because all of the characters had an equal role in the film, just to show us the traditions. Uh, the actors were enough for the scenes to feel believable and real. And that's why I don't think there was a protagonist and an antagonist. There were just equal roles. Uh, the technical aspect of the film, the setting was Great. The camera work was great as well, and the framing was okay, though a little bit inconsistent. Oh, we really liked the first shots with the fire in front of the church. It was. Great shot, and the second scene that we chose was at the end with the people around the fire. For the heritage, uh, the narrator did a great job at presenting their traditions. We learned a lot about the feast of San Giuseppe. Uh, the favorite place in the film was the big square where the people were celebrating. And yes, uh, we didn't find any uh, references to classic cinema movies, and that's it. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. It was a very beautiful review uh, of uh, the fire of friendship. For the next review, could you please get closer to the microphone <coughs> because your voice was very distant, and um, well. We can't hear you, Anna. Hello. Hello. Shut. Okay, so I agree that the main genre of the fire of friendship is documentary, but there is also some elements of drama and adventure film. Uh, I think that the film talks about some creative issues such as celebrations, music and food, and also human issues like um, traditions, friendships and life of teenagers. I agree that it 
looks as a, uh, I think that it looks as if the inhabitants have their own functions uh, in preparing the feast. Um, I would like to add that the movie shows the life of community of Bernalda. Uh, the film is quite dynamic and realistic. The strongest point, in my opinion, uh, is the technical part, such as the beautiful music made by students. It makes the ambience of the film and sounds quite magical. Uh, the global scenario is quite simple and straightforward, but realistic and entertaining. We are waiting with the characters for uh, what will happen in the evening. Uh, from my point of view, the conflict of the movie is teenagers waiting for the celebration, uh, um, waiting to celebrate a beautiful holiday together. Moreover, the film is um, made from a perspective of young people uh, and it explains um, Bernalda from their point of view. I think that the end of the film is rather optimistic and enjoyable. It tells us that teenagers enjoy the traditions and want to follow them. In my opinion, uh, the key moment is the meeting of the teenagers and setting uh, for the evening. Um, in my opinion, we can also examine the characters as they are preparing for the celebration. They get happier and happier. Uh, the, as my friend said, the level of suspense was not really high because the film was optimistic and suspense isn't the point of this movie, but we wait with the characters for the evening. Uh, in my opinion, the actors represent what they stand for. They just play themselves. Uh, characters are happy. Um, but the capability of actors is sometimes not that high because of the complex language they use. However, the strong point of the actors is their attitude. They are active uh, and involved. We can see that in the, scene, in the scene with collecting the branches. Thank you for your beautiful compliment. Compliment. Uh, um, you. And now, uh, and now Maya will continue for a minute. Mm -hmm. Maya. Yes. Maya. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Maya will continue with the filmmaking and heritage. Just uh, one minute. One minute, of course, that's that's short. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mayo. Uh, there are plenty of uh, remarkable uh, scenes, uh, but uh, ones I wanted to focus on are shots of the bonfire at night, as my friend said, uh, in front of the church, uh, with uh, nice music, which uh, makes magical effect. Uh, my second favorite uh, scene is close-up, uh, of the food on the plate in the student's house uh, because we can uh, feel the taste. I bet it was uh, tasty. Um, there are plenty uh, of heritage uh, elements in the film, such as the celebration of Saint uh, Giuseppe Day. We learned about uh, prepara preparation. For example, people uh, take branches uh, by their bikes bikes and uh, in the evening uh, they make a big bonfire in front of uh, the church also uh, 19th of uh, march uh, is uh, father's day when children uh, write a letter to fathers and uh, hide it under his place 
Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Faites pause. Ok, quitter avant. De... Faites pause avant de quitter, sinon ça va, ça va continuer. Ok, uh, so we are now speaking of uh, le titre de deuxième film, dit. Uh, the second film of Dansk. So prepare your abstracts. Um, it's the investigation. So uh, Nelly, your students will start again. Pure chance. So just tell me when you're ready. Uh, well, I'm ready. So uh, the film about uh, the investigation was a really well done crime film. It was really interesting. Uh, we thought the, the strategy was to show that young people can uh, prove themselves and can do things too, which was really great view of the of our world. Uh, so most of the jury thought that the film was uh, very clever, very well done. Uh, and we really liked the scenario and especially the technique. There were some really good shots, especially with the drones at the beach. So yeah, we thought that the film was really great shot. Uh, the best, the story was really exciting. It was a, it was great at uh, keeping suspense, and it was really well done. Uh, the girl managed to be respected and uh, to get uh, to be acknowledged by her mother, which was a really satisfying ending of uh, the film. Uh, the antagonists were the two boys that stole the pen, and. Uh, yeah, they got what they deserved. Uh, the acting was uh, really great. The actors were clever and fluent. There wasn't quite uh, that uh, emotionally... Uh, there were, weren't that emotional scenes, so there wasn't really touching moments, but uh, I don't think that the film needed that much. And they were very dynamic and uh, really well dressed and really beautiful. The main character was uh, Yulia, which uh, was our favorite character. And uh, we think that she did a very great job of being the main character, along with her friends. Uh, the antagonists were the two boys, as we said, so they did a great job too. The filmmaking was the... We really loved the filmmaking of this uh, film. It was really great. It was There were really great shots really great transitions between scenes, between uh, frames, and it was really well done. The heritage uh, was uh, about the pen of uh, Lech, uh, Lech Valenza, which was really interesting to learn about, but we could have, uh, we all thought that uh, if we, if uh, the film showed uh, a m m bit more heritage, we would be, it would be really great and to see uh, more about the culture. And uh, besides that, the film was really well done. So that's about the investigation. Thank you. Very nice, very nice review. Very well said. Loved it. Uh, Raphael, allez, on enchaîne, allez, on fait la A student from Bernalda. Uh, the investigation is a detective story and uh, and, uh, and was uh, want to do uh, uh, it uh, talks about the Analyze the detective story. Uh, the match there cuts. are match cuts, and yeah. they want to show a, a particular heritage historic period. Mm -hmm. This film is very interesting, and we love the most uh, specific uh, scene, um, a specific scene, and the, the police woman's daughter. 
uh, this piece may, this film is very good and uh, very as a very global scenario. Um, uh, this, uh, the end of this film is a bit uh, satisfactory and it's uh, predictable. Um, the key moment of the scenario uh, was when the, the girl, um, the girl uh, read their mother's files. Um, the, char the characters changed. Um, because at the first they were worried and after they were relaxed. Um, the level, uh, the this feel, the suspense in this film. Uh, there's uh, some suspense in this film, uh, but uh, not a lot, not a lot. And uh, the obstacle, the obstacle is the tight, the height, the tiff when he moved the pen. Um, the actor's credibility, credibility, credibility. Um, they uh, they was very clear and and a bit touching, uh, quite dynamic and and a bit stylish. Uh, our favorite uh, character um, was the, the police woman's daughter. Um, um, there, are, there are some um, uh, 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 bad points. There are some, there are, there are some characters in the role of adults. Uh, the technical uh, choice is the there's a lot of cultural heritage. Okay, uh, you ready? Rafael go. So uh, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Film review. They have disagreed. Okay. On perd du temps là. This film is a drama, and uh, the the theme is uh, friendship. The film. This film promotes charity when uh, they um, they want to take money for a friend the, um, the film is uh, very beautiful with uh, monuments and is a bit moving the strong point of this film is uh, the the heritage the heritage because we can see a lot of monuments in the city um with uh, the jury love places uh, like uh, I say uh, before. Um, the best story. The global scenario is realistic and a bit heavy. Uh, we we say the conflict in this film is the fire. Um, the end is really satisfactory because they win money. And uh, the most challenge in this film is for win money. Uh, the acting. Um, the actor is, uh, the beginning, the actor is really, are really active and alive. And uh, it's a really strong point. Um. In the filmmaking, the strong point for us is uh, the editing. And um, when uh, they are from the apartment, it's realistic. The, um, the fire and, mo um, and man truck is very funny. Um, we see the, a lot of information uh, and uh, at the end, we don't remember any. 
Um, after this film, we want to see Sofia in real life. Um, my, uh, my favorite place is the old rain, rain? ruins. Ruins. Mm. Okay for you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, pause. Thank you. Was it okay for the sound? Okay. Uh, you can sit down, Raphael. Tac tac, on, on, on sort de là, on les on est là. Uh, for dance, next speaker, please. Yes. Best film the review. Mm, there is, I think, in my opinion, there is the genre is mm, drama and the uh, documentary. Uh, the first part is the drama and uh, the second uh, documentary. Um, the strong point of the film is, um, I think, uh, the heritage shown. Um, what I loved uh, the most in the film was um, the shot with the cathedral with 12 bells. Um, um, best, um, best the um, story review. Um, the, um, the, in the end of the film was um, subtly, um, was very clear. Um, in my opinion, the key moment is when uh, the fire starts at the party. Uh, um, in my point of view, the characters uh, change in the film uh, because first they were uh, very chilly, easy going, and later they were uh, very responsible and helpful. Mm. Mm. The level of uh, suspense was not very high because it was an optimistic film. Um, and, and mm, acting review. Mm. In my opinion, the actors were uh, quite uh, credible, mm, and, and there is a very, very difficult to choose the favorite character because they're all played in one stop. Uh, the filmmaking review it was mm, quite uh, surprising that uh, in filmmaking review that there were also photos. Um, this mm, remarkable scene, um, in my opinion, was where mm, when were the mm, uh, fire engine because it was a little bit amusing and funny. Um, and the um, heritage review, uh, there were uh, very many uh, heritage uh, reviews. Uh, we can learn about um, about uh, monuments and about uh, architecture in uh, Sofia. There are also uh, shots with beautiful squares and parks. Do you want to add something more? Um, no, I think it's all. Okay, for you. Well, thank you very much for your complimentary review. Uh, now we're speaking of the second film, Cuenca, Message in a Bottle. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the best film review. Um, okay. From our point of view, the main genres were uh, action and documentary. And we've uh, spot two themes as well, which are human issues and environmental issues. Um, I think, or from our opinion, the strategy of the film was to raise awareness about COVID because the second part of the film uh, spoke a lot about uh, this topic. And then um, our impact or the impact the film has produced on the jury, uh, we think it's uh, kind of different because uh, uh, there are two different parts in uh, one film. Uh, which can be considered uh, uh, another a different thing, which is great, but uh, uh, this is different. We think it's different. Then, 
the strong point, uh, strongest point of the film from our point of view is the technique, as the editing and some parts of the audio and quality of image were great. And what we loved the most in the film were also technical aspects. Uh, as I said, uh, the quality of the video and audio uh, were uh, finally the greatest. Then, um, talking about acting reveal, uh, the actors were uh, quite fluent uh, and, and logic. Um, very touching, emotive, and expressive, as uh, without having the most fluency, uh, we're capable of um, showing us a lot of things. And our favorite actor is the one who plays the character of Alejandra. Um, then the impact of the casting, uh, the, um, the actors were uh, stuck, and uh, we couldn't recognize protagonists and antagonists as uh, the latest part of the movie is a uh, like kind of documentary about uh, what's COVID uh, bringing to our society, and that's all. We believe the cultural integration is poor. The museum is like the only scene or place that we can see, but the expositions are very interesting. We haven't spotted any reference to classical films. Uh, that's for the heritage side of the movie. Of the filmmaking, I've considered that the audio and the video, as my friend Jury said, but we, on the other hand, the camera is quite unstable, and in some point you can see how it shakes. And the story uh, is quite good, even though they couldn't finish it. Uh, and the themes of the uh, social, it's basically the social aspect of the pandemic. And the main scenarios of the film are the uh, school and the museum. Okay. Thank you very much for your review. Interesting. Stop, Rafael. Uh, so Manresa is done. Uh, Nelly from Sofia, you ready to make the addition for message in a bottle? Yes. Okay. Okay. So whenever you're ready. We are okay. We are ready. <laughs> So, the genre of the film is abstract and the strategy is to show us how the pandemic changed our lives. The film is very strong, clever and interesting. And the strong point is the scenario. Uh, what we love most of, uh, about the film is a specific character, the girl Alejandra. Um, uh, the conflict of the film was uh, uh, between Alejandro and the other kids, and the, there was no clear end. Uh, the key moment of the film was when the pandemic strikes and change, changes everything. Uh, and the evolution of the character was all of the students are forced to change their way of life because of COVID. So the acting was fluent, clear and logic. Uh, it was really touching and expressive, and of course, stylish, beautiful, and charming. Our favorite character is Alejandro. Um, the impact of the casting was nicely balanced, um, and Alejandro was balancing the, the role of protagonist and antagonist. Uh, the film was very well shot, and there were great scenes and transi transitions. Um, our uh, favorite scene was when the girl cries because of Alejandra, uh, because Alejandra said horrible things to her. It was very emotional and touching. And the heritage was well integrated when they visit the museum. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. It was a beautiful addition to this review. And of course, we everybody wish to see the the film when it's finished and done. But well, it's impossible now. Title ready? A journey to save the city. The first film of uh, Anone, and we are calling the Italian students. Ready, 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 ready. ready. Uh, a journey to save the city is a, a, an action thriller, and it tells about uh, two guys that are searching uh, a magical object, and they 
won't find it until uh, the, the, the end of, mm -hmm. the, of their journey. Uh, this film is um, really dynamic and exciting. There are also some special effects and uh, we appreciate it. Uh, uh, but we don't, we dislike um, the acting. Uh, it, uh, they weren't uh, so fluent or touching. Uh, the strong point of this of this movie is uh, certainly the cultural heritage. Uh, in the film, uh, we can see uh, some uh, loco the locomotive, some museum, a library at the beginning. Uh, of <laughs> and um, also um, we appreciate. Uh, the, the final scenes when uh, after after the they the fa they find the, the object uh, the boy talk with the, the the voice of the goat it um, was really funny i think that you, <laughs> you're very emotional relax <laughs> I think that's it because they are very, very scared. So, uh, sorry, this is the first time for, for them. So, as you know, they are new in this group and they tried to do their best can you hear me yes and the students can they hear me yes okay so students don't don't try to follow your paper try to speak part did you like this film or not okay and be simple say what you can no problem Manresa, for uh, for now we return to a journey to save the city for the review. We have analyzed the dominant genres of the, um, this film, and it's clearly an adventure film. Uh, and the theme is all it's all a journey to save the city. Uh, the impact of the film on the jury, we all thought it was very interesting but quite difficult to understand at first. Uh, and quite the strong point of the film is the scenario. Uh, we've lo we love all the objects in the decoration, the transport, the train, the balloon, the bus, especially the train. <laughs> um, and the acting, we thought it was very clear, the language, and very expressive, very active and charming. Our favorite actor is Zenzo because he's very clear, fluent. We all like him. Uh, and we can't see the antagonists in this film. Then I'm going to explain our the best story reveal. Um, the global scenario uh, obviously is Anone, and we can see or we are able to see different places uh, in Anone. Um, uh, then the conflict of the film is uh, at the end uh, how uh, they can save the world, the two main uh, uh, characters. Um, then the end of the film, from my point of view, it's satisfactory, but it's kind of uh, confusing. And uh, the characters evolve because I believe uh, with this end and with the whole story, uh, they become their friends. Uh, it has uh, some suspense, as you don't know how uh, the end will be. And uh, yet yeah, the obstacles and the challenge uh, and obviously are to save the world. And then, as, as my partner Zach said, uh, we can identify the antagonists as uh, um, they find this kind of uh, ball in 
<laughs> in the hands of uh, uh, another girl at the end. Uh, then um, the strong point uh, in <clears throat> the strongest point of the film in technical aspects is the variety of shots. Uh, but we have to say also that uh, there was some in instability uh, in the camera in some parts of the story. Um, then we've chosen two remarkable scenes with uh, with effects. The one is the, that scene which in that uh, kind of ball went automati automatically, uh, automatically into the central pillar um, of that kind of uh, ground. And yes, that's our main scene. And talking about cultural heritage, we have to highlight this aspect because uh, we can see different means of transport and things um, such as uh, that uh, uh, the train, the bus, or the balloon, uh, their static balloon. And also, we've learned a lot of the region, the area, and also uh, the food, as in Enzo in, in the train. Shows us uh, different different um, foods that are uh, eaten in in France, uh, I believe. So yeah, that's our re review. Thank you. Your review was very interesting. I just wanted to add that in front, this this food is not eaten like that. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> no, we, we were talking about the kind of food. No, how you eat, okay. you eat it? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much for, for your review. Uh, Gdansk, uh, so Beata, prepare your student. We're going to review the second film of Manresa, which is a mystery in Manresa. So, uh, Marta, are you okay? Yes. Whenever you want to start. Okay, best film. Uh, in my opinion, the genre of the film was a crime and adventure. Uh, and the theme was human issues, uh, especially friendship. Uh, I think that strategy of the film was that uh, to don't forget about friends and to take care of friendship. Uh, the film is very uh, dynamic and a bit surprising, especially at the end. Uh, the strong point of the film is Scenario uh, is a uh, technique and heritage shown. Uh, uh, for example, landscape or breathtaking cathedral. Uh, best story. Uh, uh, I think that the film is very intriguing and a bit expressive. Uh, the conflict of the film is that. To, uh, that friendship is very important for all of us. Uh, in my view, uh, the end is very clear, but a bit surprising because I didn't expect something like that. Uh, uh, in my opinion, the key moment of this uh, scenario is uh, where when friends uh, found the paper with warning I, be, I, I believe that evolution of characters uh, probably was hidden more inside because we didn't uh, saw uh, it uh, clearly, but uh, uh, we can uh, think that uh, the character understood that friendship is very important for all of us. Uh, the level of suspense was quite high. Uh, what and ten tension creates the music. Uh, uh, Martina will continue. Okay. We think the actors are very emotive expressive. For example, we could see it in the scene while uh, the friends were waiting for the girls to go outside the cathedral because they were worried. The Actors in the film are stuck, and their strong point is that they are dynamic and clear. Filmmaking. The strong point of the filmmaking is the lighting, 
the matching cards which we could see while the friends were waiting outside the cathedral and the music which matches to the action. The first remakeable scene is while the girl was filming a TikTok and we could see it like from a phone. And the second one was when the characters were going upstairs to, to the cathedral and the camera shooted the whole cathedral. And about the heritage, there's plenty of heritage in the film. For example, architecture and the natural environment. Our favorite place is an amazing cathedral and we really would like to visit it. The film reminds us about the new series Sherlock Holmes. Thank you. Nice review of uh, Manresa. Uh, second group is Patricia's group. Right. For now, it's the uh, it's the second film of Manresa, Mystery in Manresa. Okay, perfect. Luca, come here, please. <laughs> right. Thank you. Ready? Okay, ready. Hello. Mystery in Manresa. Mystery in Manresa is a thriller. Uh, the music. And uh, this film to me to create uh, suspense. Uh, we love the most of the, in this film a specific scene. Scene uh, when uh, the actors climb the the stair of the cathedral. Uh, this film is uh, very interesting. Um, uh, there is uh, there isn't uh, a lot of suspense. Uh, there is some suspense, uh, and uh, it's, it's created from uh, the music. Uh, Yes, our, our favorite character uh, is the girl behind the behind the, behind the church uh, because she is queen of uh, uh, in every role, and uh, we, in our opinion, she is uh, the antagonist. Uh, Technical choice. About him making. Come on, Luca, don't worry, go on. Him making. To go. To go. The strong point uh, of the film is to go inside the, the cathedral. In the first sheet, scene, the, there are sheets of papers on the ground, and there are and there aren't uh, special special effects. Uh, in second scene, uh, there is sus there is suspense. And, and there is a special effect. Cultural uh, heritage. Uh, interior. We learn uh, the inter about from this building the Gothic style of the church. Uh, and we like to visit this place. Reference? The reference in this film is uh, a book called, called Mystery in San Francisco. That's it. That's it. Um, we're going to make a five minute break, okay? 
until uh, three o'clock. And at three o'clock we resume. So I'm going to show you uh, the next part. Uh, Raphael, passer une encore une.